Give me a big welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. 10-4 Tirecraft. <laughs> we'll talk to you, bud. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the video. Today, we are gonna start things off a little different. I'm not starting in the yard. I am in the shop right now, but we are gonna go straight to Windsor. We're gonna be there already. So let's get her going. White boy, can you say welcome to the video? Good enough. Another day in paradise. Well, this is our second load of the day. All right, we're gonna go for a quick little scoot down the road, get a couple uh, shifts in there. Let you guys hear the truck. Hello, Matt Coleman. We're gonna turn that right down. And then today's gonna be a bit different of a video because I'm not recording these going to Windsor, going back to the same places anyway. Anyways, I got something to talk about today. We'll wait till we're back. We're gonna do just a little bit of trucking so you guys can put a big smile on your face with a couple of smash gears. 10-4. She is dirty. You can see on my bumper where the water's been going up and over my lights. My whole light bar got submerged. <laughs> well, that's the way she goes, haul and salt. He's building a ramp to push it up even higher. Well, that is new and interesting. That's why you can just make a video every day, because, you know, always something new. We are back from our day, another day of hauling salt, but today we are going to try and do a new little thing. There is a real interesting story in the news that happened on January 20th at around 8 30 in the morning the RCMP was called and they are like a police force here in Canada the call came from someone in Headingley Manitoba Canada 
and if they were called to a business where several trucks were caught on fire and burning to the ground. The local fire department was quickly on their way to help put out the flames, but there was only so much they could do once that plastic is going and the rubber is going. It takes a lot to put out a truck on fire, but they obviously did their best. But here in the pictures, you can see these trucks went straight to the ground, burnt, charred steel, the trailers and everything would basically be unusable or need a lot of repair. Anyways, these trucks got burnt to a crisp. The trailer's front ends were no good. They did get the flames put out. The company is saying that it will be an estimated $7 million Canadian in damages, over $7 million in damages because of the trucks and the trailers burning. Some look like they were maybe reefer units and blah, blah, blah. Everything adds up. Nothing's getting any cheaper anymore. Which brings me to my next point is why would someone light these trucks on fire? So let's think about it from one aspect. They could be lit on fire because someone has been cutting rates or stealing work or maybe it was just one guy did one bad thing and someone lit his truck on fire and caught all these other trucks on fire. It's hard to say, no one knows. That's why this is an arson thing because it was definitely deliberately done, but by who, for what reason, no one really knows. Hence why the RCMP is asking for tips, blah, blah, blah. I don't expect anyone to call and say, hey, I know who did it. So with those trucks and trailers being burnt to a crisp, I know the whole trailer isn't, but it's still a lot of damage, a lot of insurance money. This could also be an insurance claim, something like that. I don't know if this was one fleet and it's all one fleet's trucks or what this is. There's not too much on the story yet. I don't know if you want to know more about it and I do find out more about it, leave it in the comments if you'd like to hear more about it. But this definitely could be an insurance claim. Someone could have lit their own truck on fire to get money out of their insurance. Times are tough. Diesel fuel is high up and people are looking to make a quick buck and screw the system any way they can. It is a sad world out there and it's tough to be a truck driver. There's little work and there's little pay sometimes and some people don't want to pay you to do stuff when you've already done it and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I hope this isn't insurance scam. I don't hope it's someone that screwed someone over and they burnt their trucks down or anything. It's a stupid thing to do it's not a good situation for anyone and i hope that no one was hurt in this that says that there wasn't anyone yet but who knows i can only get so much off what they put they're just saying 8 30 in the morning these trucks were on fire they got burned to the ground they put them out and it's arson so i thought this was kind of cool guys this is kind of a different video i did go trucking today but i'm doing the same thing that i've been doing every day so i thought you know i've seen this pop up on my cell phone maybe we could talk about it maybe you'll go look this up i don't know do you guys like my little news story segment here the breaking trucking news let me know what you thought because i can find news stories all around the world and talk about them if you guys want to hear them let me know I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And make sure you're subscribed for more because there will be always more to come. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll talk to you tomorrow.